Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since we've seen any new hybrid watches. And right here we have a brand new one from Fossil, which I'm very excited to talk about because those of you who watch this channel know that I absolutely love hybrid smartwatches. They really combine the best of both worlds with both the better aesthetic and battery life of, of an analog watch, but also a lot of the fantastic smartwatch capabilities from health tracking and notifications and, and things like that that you get with a typical smartwatch. And of course, when you combine the two, there are many ways to do it. You can generally divide it in two categories, but you just see so many different approaches from Garmin's approach to Fossil's original approach. Now this one, they're all really different. But like I said, the two main categories you can kind of split them into are smartwatches that became analog. So they added like a little hand on the front like that we saw with Garmin, for example. And on the flip side, we have analog watches that turned smart. And that's actually what this one is right here. So in this video, I wanna talk about this brand new watch from Fossil, as well as talk about just hybrid watches in general. I know that I mentioned that I'm excited about them, but if you don't know much about hybrid watches, you might wonder why somebody would get one in the first place. And so, as I mentioned, they tend to combine the, the best of both worlds, but when they do it in this way, when they're taking an analog watch and they're making it smart, like I said, you're getting a fantastic battery. The battery life on this device is supposed to last up to an entire year. Now you'll see on the back, we don't have any charging nodes, which I think is interesting because instead of charging this with some type of charger, and keep in mind, if you charge it once a year, you're almost definitely gonna lose that charger, you instead just take it off and put a new battery in the back. Now I'm not sure which one's actually better, charging it with a charger or having to go buy a battery, but if you buy a pack of five on Amazon, they're pretty cheap and, and that seems like a pretty good way to go for the next five years. Other than that, when we look at this watch on the front, you'll see that it looks like a classic analog watch. It works like an analog watch, the aesthetic is fantastic, but it has some really nice functionality that's, that's really hidden. You don't see it at first glance here, but we'll dive into some of the actual functions, including like sleep tracking, uh, notifications, all types of things like that, auto fitness detection, lots of things we'll talk about throughout this video. But let's continue on with the physical tour here. On the front, you'll see that we have two subdials. The one on the top is going to be your world time. So you can choose another time zone. It shows you the hour. Personally, I think that's a great feature because I live on the East Coast, I work a lot with the West Coast, and I mean, I know it's a three hour difference and I can do that math, but it's always nice just to check myself and make sure I'm not late for a meeting. Like, it's nice to have that. On the bottom, you'll see the other subdial has a little bit more functionality yet. And this one on the top has a little gauge that goes from zero to 100, which is going to be based on your goal for the day. So if you say you want 10,000 steps in a day, you can look right here, I'm at about 2,500 steps already today. And so it counts your steps throughout the day, shows you on the bottom. It, it's a really nice way to see, you know, when you, and when you get to your goal, the, the hands have like a little party, they spin around and get real excited. So it's still doing a lot of smartwatchy things like that. And below that, you'll see we have three little icons, a calendar, a bell, and a, a little message icon, because this also works for notifications. And we'll get into how notifications work because obviously without text, it's a little bit more complicated. I think they did a good job of that. But like I said, we'll get into that when we look at the app. Uh, other than that, the hands themselves, you might assume just tell you the time, but they actually do much more than that. With the three buttons on the right side, which are fully customizable, you have a lot of different functions from telling you the commute time to a stopwatch to how much you slept last night, all types of things like that. And so while they tell you the time, all the time really, when you press one of those buttons, they can do other things. They can point to a notification, they can you know, set a timer, all types of things like that. Oh, and something else inside this watch, although we don't have a microphone or speaker, there is a haptic motor on here, a vibrating motor, which will be used for any kind of feedback you're gonna get from this watch. Whether that is like an alarm uh, or something like, for example, your stopwatch, things like that. You want different things that might you know, interact with you, a vibrating motor is gonna be a great way to do that. Now, this does connect to your phone, obviously, if you're getting notifications. It uses Bluetooth 4.2, which is very low energy, which is giving you that really long battery life. And I mean, otherwise, looking at this aesthetically, I think it's a fantastic design. 44 millimeter body, 22 millimeter straps. It comes with these nice premium leather straps and it's actually water resistant as well. So you're water resistant up to 50 meters on this device. I mean, I'm not really sure from a physical design, like I, I love this. Which by the way, if you're new here and you have not yet subscribed, we do actually have another watch coming out that's going to look a lot like this, the Fossil Gen 6, which is a full blown smartwatch and I will be reviewing that as soon as it comes out. If you wanna see that video, go on down and click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss it. 
Now, although this watch doesn't have any type of display or backlighting or anything like that, the hands do glow in the dark. So in any darker environment, you can still tell the time, you can still see when it's pointing to notifications and things like that. And so, you know, glow in the dark hands, I think was a nice addition here. So that's mostly what I can talk about looking at the watch. If you wanna know more about what this does, we really have to dive into the app. Okay, so this device syncs up with the Fossil Hybrid app. And as you can see right here, it's a pretty simple app. It's gonna show you your fitness stuff on the first page. And across the bottom, we have some different tabs. Now, I'm gonna go through each one, but I really wanna start off over in profile because from here, it's gonna show you some, some basic stuff on the top, but really the settings for the watch. And I think this is what's most interesting. Starting off down here, you can set your goals. So you can say how many steps you wanna have, how many calories you wanna have, and you can choose what your main goal is. Because remember, that bottom icon is going to be the percent of your goal for the day. So if your goal is to have like 250 active calories, then it's going to tell you how many active calories you burn that day. I think steps is the most uh, logical one, the easiest one to kind of interpret in your head. So 10,000 steps, you just look at that, multiply, and you're ready to go with that. Now, otherwise, we also have auto workout detection. As I mentioned, if you just start walking or running, it will detect that workout, but it also detects cycling or a rowing machine as well. So if you just start using a rowing machine, it will detect that. As far as I know, there's really no good way to start a workout. So uh, you know, auto detection is probably your best bet for most basic workouts. We have preferred units, so you can change it if you're metric or English. Uh, of course, we have connected apps down here and you can connect all types of different things to this one like Google Fit or Apple Health, depending on what you're using. Keep in mind also, I'm using this on an iPhone right now, but this also does connect to Android phones and, and I have set it up with either one. It's very easy to set up. It's also very easy to switch between phones as well. And so I, I thought that was pretty nice that it's pretty brand agnostic here. Now, if we go up and tap on where it says Retropilot, which of course is the name of this device, uh, we can go in and see not just the battery level, but also like the vibration strength, so you can have weaker or stronger, and we can find the device or even calibrate it because again, these hands are on a little servo motor, so there is a chance over time that it might be off by like a minute or two, and you can very easily calibrate that uh, just right there to make sure the motors are pointing where they should. Now, going back, I know I said the settings were where this got exciting, and, and that was a little bit of a lie. Where it really gets exciting is when you go down to customization, because this is what allows you to really change how this watch interacts with you, how the buttons work, what the functions are, and what you can actually do with this. So taking a look here, you have three different buttons, of course. So the buttons, you can customize any one of them to do any of these functions. So if we tap on, say, the top button, and right now it's a stopwatch, you can see all these different functions that we have we're able to do. So we're able to check the battery level, and when we do that, anytime I push the top button, it'll go and point to the percentage of the battery at the moment. We can also see mode toggle, music control, which is basically just play or pause. Uh, we can go to volume up or volume down. So if you wanted to have a mode where the top was volume up, the bottom's down, and the middle's play pause, then you know this analog looking watch can now fully control your music. We can also go over to ring your phone. Of course, if your phone's missing, you can, you can find it, obviously. Uh, you can take a photo. So if I set up my phone on a tripod, I can use my watch to actually snap the photo, which I think is a pretty convenient thing that a lot of smartwatches do. We have the date, and the date is interesting. Although this doesn't tell you the month, so assuming you know what month it is, uh, and what year it is as well, it's going to tell you what day of the month it is. So you can see on the outer ring, it goes from zero to 31. So it'll go around a point to whatever the date is, um, something I use, pretty much every day, I always need to know what the date is and, and I usually forget what it is. So this watch definitely pulls through there. We also have sleep tracking, we have goal tracking, we have commute time. This one I think is the most interesting out of all of these. So you can set your destination for where you're commuting. It could be your home, it could be uh, anywhere really. And once you have that, then if you're at work or something, you can tap on commute time. It'll tell you how long it's going to take to get there. So it's accounting for traffic and everything. And so it's nice later in the workday, if you wanna know how long it's gonna take to get home, how bad traffic is, you can check that. If it's way longer than usual, you might think, all right, maybe I'll work later today and, and, and have a quicker drive home later. Like, it's nice that you just have that little thing built into this watch. And of course we have stopwatch, we have a second time zone. I wouldn't recommend setting up second time zone here because like I said, the sub dial on the top is your second time zone anyway. And lastly, we have notifications. And then lastly, if we go over to alerts, you can set up alarms and it's gonna use the vibrating motor on here to alert you. So that's gonna be like a wake up alarm or whatever you want. And then also we have assign notifications, which is kind of a hidden feature in here, which allows you when you have a notification coming to your watch, it'll point to any one of these. So if you want like the, the two hour mark to work for a specific contact or to work for a specific app, then you can set that up. And I know you're gonna have to memorize like 12 different ones then, but keep in mind if you're, if you're consistently getting texts from your mom or your brother or your coworker, then it's very easy to set that up. And, and I'm sure you're gonna remember it very quickly. Like every time it points to two, 
that's your brother, right? I think that's that's reasonably easy. If you set up all 12, it's definitely a learning curve. It's gonna take some time, but again, it is kind of convenient. So overall, reviewing this watch was really easy. There's a lot of things I really like about it. I was more than impressed with how much Fossil was able to pack into a very analog looking watch, but of course, not everything was good. Being that we're trying to make this battery last almost an entire year. As you saw, I went down about 3% in about a week and a half, so definitely kind of on par for that. But Otherwise, because you're kind of conserving battery life, I found that notifications don't work especially well. With both phones I connected this to, both an iPhone and an Android phone, I found that notifications a lot of times were missed and the phone would not always sync with the watch. And while everything else did work very well from commute time to stopwatch and everything like that, like I said, I didn't always get notifications on here. So if that's the main reason you want this watch, I would say that, I mean, maybe there's some settings you can optimize that, but realistically, it's probably not the best for notifications. On top of that, like if you wanna read your notifications and have quick replies, there are other hybrid watches that will do a better job of that. This one I think is mostly if you love analog watches and you want an analog watch, but maybe you wanna keep tabs on how many steps you took in a day, maybe you want some of those extra functional features, or you just think it's a cool looking watch, like all of those are great reasons to buy this one. Personally, I could see myself wearing this, especially to more formal events if I'm still trying to maybe track my steps, but I have to like wear a suit all day. It looks a lot nicer than a big black screen on your wrist. Now, with that being said, guys, you can leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of this watch. Is this the right way to make a hybrid watch? Or do you think the other way, being a smart watch with analog hands on top, is a better way of doing it? Of course, you're gonna compromise, have a shorter battery life and, and a slightly less appealing aesthetic, but you can have other things on there like Garmin Pay, as we saw with the Garmin version of this, and other things like that. Leave a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are on this device. As always, if you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. I'm Mike O'Brien. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.